burgled when I was asleep in my home. We actually, this time, two years ago, we were burgled. Yeah. Yes, I was burgled. Yeah. Yeah, some years ago. Um, attempted burglary when they broke the door and they just robbed a handbag underneath the stairs. The car was stolen a few times from the house. They broke into the house and they took the keys. Right. Um, so, yeah, he got an awful shock. He would be very security conscious as a result of that. Yeah, my house was broken into a couple of years ago at Easter time. Uh, herself and Dad were in bed one night and she heard glass being broke downstairs and Dad got up, quite elderly, both of them, and he went down and she heard voices and then she got an awful turn because she thought Dad was coming in on top of it and she didn't know what was going to happen to him. So the burglar anyway broke a load of glass, all the windows downstairs. The place was a bit ruffled but nothing was taken because Dad disturbed him. And then Mum ended up in hospital with a mild heart attack and sort of went downhill after that. So yeah, that's the effect it can have on your lives, like, you know. Took everything, everything that was in the house, TVs, radio, laptops, absolutely all the electrical equipment, anything at all they could take, they took. They even took a pair of runners from under the table that had been worn. Uh, all the Easter eggs I had there for the children, uh, everything, basically. The usual thing at the time was the television and um, my gold charms that I had for years, you know, this sort of thing. I had odd bits of jewellery and they, they went through it all and picked the good stuff, pick old heirlooms amongst my mother. And Thousands of pounds worth of antique furniture, jewellery okay. and plenty of money. Uh, I was very upset because, well, particularly as he came straight at me, and it was kind of a game of chicken, you know. Um, I only had the car about three or four months, so, so it was kind of upsetting from that point of view. And somebody coming here so close to your house. Yeah. I had a young child. My daughter was only about 18 months at the time, you know. But our neighbours next door were burgled last year, um, and it was a very frightening experience because the, the husband had just left the house with his daughter, who's about 16 or 17, and um, the wife was at home. It was about this time of year, um, maybe late November, maybe early December, and she was downstairs in her laptop and she went up to have a shower and when she was came out of the shower, it was the ensuite of their bedroom, there was two guys in the bedroom in balaclavas and they were taking all her jewellery and stuff. But the husband was on his way back and whoever was in the Jeep tipped them off and they actually left. But when she came out of the bathroom first, they told her to get back inside and lock the door. Okay. So she really she got a, had a horrible experience. So it left everybody on our road very... Um, feeling vulnerable in that you know very frightening though afterwards it took me a good while to get used to yeah. is there anybody in the house it was definitely traumatic yeah, yeah. at the time yeah i've sold the property oh wait and was that because of what happened well it had a big bearing on it yes okay. awful just knowing someone's in your house i guess is the worst part uh, just you're afraid all the time thinking that they're going to come back or every time you hear a noise it's just affecting you all the time because you think it's it's them again or it's just scary. So it was devastating. Yeah, it was, yeah.